Well, good afternoon, everybody. It looks like summer has definitely arrived. Boy, it's like uh, 90 degrees. It went from 40 to 90 in a couple of days here, but it is going to cool back down. But with that, I got realizing a lot of people have enjoyed seeing and having questions about my fruit tree bug repellent, which is a natural product you make up yourself, repels the bugs, so it doesn't kill them, uh, but it actually keeps them away when you're not having rainy spells. So I want to get a chance to just make it from the beginning to the end, show you spraying it, then actually attach the recipe so you can find it firsthand. And people ask for it, and uh, this would be easy and get a chance to review how it's made, nice and simple, nice and slowly. So that way all the questions are asked. And if you got more questions, please ask. I, I'm always glad to answer, but I'll make it easier for you. A few key ingredients that everybody can get in their household. Uh, I go for the cheapest ingredients I can find, because the trees don't care. Uh, we're going to put in vegetable oil or canola, chili powder or cayenne powder, garlic powder, very inexpensive dish soap. Then over here is cinnamon oil, which I'll explain in a second how that's made, okay? Olive oil and cinnamon, ground cinnamon. So with that, what you're going to do is you're going to take chili powder or cayenne powder and basically do a, two tablespoons in water, which is already in here, okay? And that has been seeping overnight for 24 hours. I'm gonna strain that out in a second. Meanwhile, in this container, I already had seeped overnight the garlic powder with two tablespoons of garlic powder in there. Hot water, by the way, hot water. Uh, one cup of water, two tablespoons of that. One cup of water two tablespoons of chili or, or um, cayenne pepper. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, this is what it looked like, I already drained this out. That's what's left over the residue, left over from the garlic powder. I'm gonna throw that out, don't, don't need that. Second, there we go. And I'm gonna now drain down the chili powder here. Um, gonna mix it up a little bit first. Yeah, I'll put it down below. Be careful what you put on top of wood decks. It could be caustic to certain things. Um, this deck has a coating on it, my wife insists that it's caused problems. But anyways, um, so we're just going to drain that through. You can see all the sediment coming out there. And I did. I am mixing in with the, the garlic powdered sediments already down below. It doesn't matter. Um, it's all going to get mixed into the mixture anyways. So we're just going to... And by the way, uh, what I'm draining this into, I didn't realize I didn't mention this to you. This is uh, just simple uh, cheesecloth, which is this product right here. And uh, this is cheesecloth, which is cheesecloth, okay? And it's basically about four layers is all it is. Just four layers, layers basically as it comes out, a little metal container or plastic bowl, whatever you have, you just use a rubber band to put the uh, cheesecloth on there to sieve it through, all right? So the next thing we're going to talk about is making cinnamon oil. Now you can buy cinnamon oil online, very, very expensive. So it's very cheap to me. We looked up the recipe, we found out how to make it. Um, for what I do, I make enough to last myself for the whole season because this product here, this uh, natural bug spray, you're going to want to put on probably every week to 10 days. Uh, if you get rain, you're going to do it again. And you're not doing it a whole season, you're basically doing it when you're having a lot of bug activity. I do have traps out my fruit trees, which surely don't have bugs going on, so I put this on, helps repel even better. But um, cinnamon oil, very simple. What we're gonna do, take a quarter cup of cinnamon, we're gonna put it into a saucepan on top of your stove, and one cup of olive oil. Cheap olive oil, you know, this is, this is pure California, you don't need that special. Just some cheap, cheap olive oil, uh, one cup, you're gonna let it cinnamon, cinnamon simmer on the stove for three to five minutes. Not boil, just let it simmer a little bit. And then when it's done, you're gonna basically put it into a storage jar. And this, this is here. And now you do have to mix up before you use it because it does kind of settle on the bottom. Spoon there, thank you. My assistant Linda there. Um, it does get a little bit thick, but if you just stir it up a little bit before you put it in, it'll do just fine. And we'll give you the measurements as we uh, get ready to put this together here. As I'm seeing, the chili powder is already drained down. So we can put this all together now. Okay, well this is all nicely uh, drained or strained out there for you. And that's a combination of the garlic and uh, chili or cayenne pep pepper powder. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in. 
This is uh, just a backpack spray that I like to use. You can use a little hand pump spray. You do have to have something to pump it, you know, out of there into your trees, okay? And uh, basically right now I have a, because I'm doubling this recipe, it's two gallons, but this recipe I'm giving you is basically one gallon. And that's what I'm gonna give you the measurement for it. So one gallon of water. Now we're gonna put in our cinnamon oil right here. And the recipe calls for one tablespoon. Double checking myself here. One tablespoon of um, cinnamon oil, that's right. There we go. And once again, I'm doubling the recipe, so I'm gonna put in two. There we go. Actually smells good. <laughs> got a little bug on there. There we go. Alrighty. So next we're gonna do is we're gonna do this aside, we're well done with that. We're gonna do the vegetable oil. And that calls for one cup of vegetable oil. In my situation, because I'm dumb, I'm gonna do two of them here. And what, and what does a gallon of this cost like Linda? You know roughly? Four, I don't remember four that bucks. was cheap. That was Walmart. Yep, oh, I make a mess sometimes. It washes away. One. Okay, so next we're gonna do is a quarter cup of dish soap. Now I'm doing doubling, so I'm gonna do a half a cup of dish soap. And um, the dish soap is probably to help it kind of um, emulsify, is that the right word for it? To get it to, ooh, look at the bubbles. To get it to mix together nicely. And there we go. So let's use a little water to rinse this off here. All right. So actually the dish soap actually helps it to stick better also. And I think the oil probably also smothers any eggs that might be on the tree. Um, but that's it, very simple. Um, like I said, we're gonna put the recipe down below. And I'm gonna go ahead and nothing in the mix. I'm gonna put the cover on here. And just pretty much just shake, shake it up a little bit. Second here. All right. And that's it. So let's go ahead and uh, spray the trees. I'll show you how simple that is. All right, well, here we are back down in the garden by the fruit trees. And some of us want to cover real quick what does one gallon cover? I get those questions a lot. How, I got so many trees, how much will it cover? So I've done two gallons here, and it really covers very well. I've got three apple trees. Uh, four peach trees in there, a pear tree in the other side, a plum, and two cherries, okay? 12 trees in total. I have a brand new tree, I don't even call that yet, but these are standard size. I mean, these are semi-dwarf trees, standard size. They're not overly large. So I pretty much, I would say if you had about six trees of like this size you're seeing, one gallon would probably deal with it pretty well. I, I'm doubled it up so to cover it, and sometimes you have a left enough left over I'll hit some of my grapes or blueberries whatever um, bees doesn't bother the bees at all it's wonderful I don't want to spray it on the bees you know but um, so I just just spray it to just so it's enough to where it's you know you don't oversaturate just enough to get it to where it's coming out nice and smoothly so you don't want to oversaturate just enough to where it's not you know dripping gobs coming off I guess you're hitting your face a little bit a little, you get a little, if it's windy, I get a little back in your eyes, but it's not going to hurt you. If you want to put some goggles on, you can, because there is the garlic powder or chili powder. It might sting a little bit, but it's not going to blind you, okay? Not, nothing hazardous there. And that's pretty much it. Just want to coat the leaves the best you can, and they will not like the smell of this stuff, and they will just run away. So, there we go. Hope that helps a lot. So those of you want to Make your own natural bug protection and uh, environmental friendly, organic, and not gonna hurt your fruit at all or your fruit trees. So, thank you again for viewing. Like I said, once again, the recipe will be down below uh, so you can get it or you can click through our website actually. So, it'll be all listed for you. So, it's a busy time of year. Thank you for subscribing, for giving the uh, thumbs up, and, and the uh, comments below is, is great. I appreciate that and happy gardening. Enjoy the rest of your day.